So what I have here is a Maximus a Smart Security Light from Costco. That's where I bought it from. You could get them off Amazon or eBay. Item number is 1145059. So a little bit about this light. Um, it's you have two-way audio. Uh, you have a smartphone app which is free, and it, it, it's a motion detector. It turns on, it's a dawn to dusk, so it turns on um, when it gets dark outside. It does have a cloud. They give you first 48 hours free, and then you have to pay if you want like the 7 day or the 30 day or whatever. But here's a little bit, some of the specs. Uh, it has a 720p HD camera with 116 degrees of diagonal field view. Um, has a good speaker, microphone obviously. Five year parts and warranty. It does come with the, uh, um, it, does not, it does not come with the incandescent light, it comes with the LED. It's a 500 lumen LED light. So, anyway, let's unbox this. So, inside the box, you get the light unit itself, of course. You get a uh, manual. You get your wire connectors and some extra hardware. You get your 500 lumen LED bulb inside that box. This is a toolkit so you can hang the light if you don't have somebody to help you hold the light while you um, do the wiring. So I won't be using that because I have help. But this is the bracket that you would mount onto your existing uh, box on your wall. And then you get some extra brochures inside the box that I don't need. Now I already used I already bought one of these. So this is actually my second one. I bought one about two months ago. And I've been really pleased with it. <clears throat> Costco sells these for $140, I believe. And they they were running some kind of a deal, um, kind of an end of season deal. So I picked this up for $60. And same thing with the other one. All right, now as far as quality, this is all plastic. It's all plastic. Now, this is some kind of a metal. It doesn't feel... Too heavy duty, but I mean, just some kind of metal. This is metal right here. It's all metal. Obviously, this is plastic, and this is plastic. You got your speaker, you got microphones, and this is your camera. The way you adjust the camera is you just loosen this, so you tighten it, loosen it, and then you kind of move the camera in whatever angle you want. Whatever I think was was just a little shield. So you don't get glare from the light, but I'll put it back on in a minute. So, if you want to move it this way or this way, and then you just kind of lock it in place. And it just kind of sits there. It doesn't move anymore. I already installed the light. And now, the hardware that came out, this is the stuff that was, um, the bolts and the nuts that were on this already. I took them off. This, they're a little bit longer. So if you have a brick house, then you might want to just leave them on the way it came out of the box but I have a uh, just a regular siding vinyl siding so I don't need these that long as long as that one so I just tighten these down all the way and basically the way this works is well you would use those two screws provided you'd put them in here mount them to your box outside all right and then you just turn this to make it straight because this light is going to be see there's one hole over there one hole over there so you want to make so this is your wall right here you want to make sure those those are straight like that you know, you don't want them crooked like that because otherwise your light's not going to be sitting straight and once that's done you just tighten these two screws right here and they'll hold this thing in place <coughs> then obviously what you would do is so let's say this thing's already mounted you would <coughs> put it in through here through the back And you see the two screws sticking out both sides and then that's why you get those two uh, uncapped nuts they're made out of metal so they're not plastic some of them are plastic but these are made of metal so they're pretty heavy duty and just tighten them now before you do that um, before you tighten those two screws you might want to do the wiring so the wiring is really easy I mean, it's just three wires 
This will be your ground. Now, <clears throat> at your house, if you have a metal box, if the box is metal, then more than likely that the um, the bare wire, like the bare copper wire, on your house is grounded to the box. If your box is plastic, so if it's blue or like a gray and it's plastic, then you would have to use a, one of those uh, wire nuts and wire this directly to the um, to the wire coming out of the house. Let's see here. Then you, this is your hot wire. This is the one that carries the power. And then this is your um, neutral wire, the white one. So you only have three wires to hook up. <clears throat> now, let's say you do have your, normally the box outside is supposed to be metal. So if it is metal and the box is grounded, then you would take this wire and screw it right here. See, GND, that's for ground. So this is assuming that your box is metal and it's already grounded. So if it is, then when you screw this into the box, you know this this bracket becomes grounded so when you hook up the uh this this wire the bare wire the screw everything is grounded so um that's pretty much it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause this video i'm going to go outside remove my existing um uh, light fixture and then i'll just go from there all right now before i remove this light i already did a review on this light this light is also from costco it's an led light but it doesn't have a camera or anything like that. It just has motion uh, detection and dust to dawn and all that good stuff. But one year update, it's pretty good. It held up just fine. I'm just going to be re relocating it. That's all. I just want a camera down here at the basement door. That's all. All right, guys. So it's all set up. One thing I want to point out is make sure you guys do cut the power um, <clears throat> when you guys before you guys mess with the wires um, when, when installing the light or any light. <clears throat> For the matter no my camera my uh, light is all set up i have the camera pointing in the direction i want which is that way which is right next to the door and this thing's all set up and now all i have to do is connect um my phone i'm recording off my phone so i can't show this part but i have to connect my phone uh to my wi-fi the same wi-fi that i want this light to be connected to and then if you have the app downloaded already all you gotta do is just click add light and just follow the instructions i mean it takes five minutes it's super simple super easy um there's even no point of making a video on it because i mean it's just step by step and the app is you know really good and uh, telling you how to do it so here it is and if you guys get one i hope you guys like it all right so first things first I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to connect to the um, connect the camera to your Wi-Fi, so you can view it. First things first, make sure you connect your phone to your Wi-Fi hotspot in the house. Um, the same Wi-Fi connection you want that camera to run off of. So I am already connected to my Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, make sure you're not using your your data off your phone. You make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi hotspot that the camera needs to be connected to. Anyway, so once you get that done, you would go ahead and download this app. It's called Kuna, K-U-N-A. Once you open that up, this is actually, it shows live. This is live right now on the side of my house on the other camera that I bought a few months back. So you can see over here. I'm gonna see if I can download the video and just kind of post it um, um, onto this video. So anyway, <clears throat> once you download it, you would uh, this this is exactly what you would see. Um, I already have one camera. This is one camera that's already set up. But um, not to set up another camera, just click plus the plus right here, and then it tells you what kind of what type of device are you trying to set up. So mine is. A smart security light even though that's just a generic picture um, that's not my actual light but that's the one you want to use see they also got companion light smart socket and flood light and all that stuff but I'm gonna be setting mine up just click setup device see and I already found the one that says backdoor now, that one is the one I already have set up the new device is the one the new device the one nearest to me is the one that I just installed so I'm gonna click on that one. It says connecting. It's doing its thing right now. Checking Wi-Fi. All right. Now it says, "What would you like to name your Kuna?" So I'm gonna put backyard because that one is facing my backyard. Now it's gonna be connected to my. Um, it says what Wi-Fi network should backyard camera connect to? So I'm gonna use that hotspot. 
and then I'm gonna enter my password really quick so once you enter your password you just hit connect and it says initializing connection just got a lot of those things loaded Ignore that water noise you're hearing in the background, it's my sump pump. Okay, so it says successfully connected. So I'm just going to let it um, go into America, New York time zone. It says which city, which is in my land, that's where I'm at. It says backyard with automatically play a greeting when it detects a person or vehicle. It basically, it's it by default, is going to make a chime noise. Every time somebody's going to pass by the camera, it's just going to make it like a chime noise. And like within four or five seconds later, you're going to get the notification on your phone. So I'm just going to say yes, use default. It says backyard's light will automatically turn on at dusk and uh, on at dusk and off at dawn. Yes, that's how I want it. So it's all done. Okay, so I'm going to click start using my Kuna. And as you can see now, there's two of them over here. See, and this is my backyard. So when, when you click on it, that's that's a live view right there. And it's live. One, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and adjust that shield that popped off on my camera. And then uh, just so kind of get some of uh, the glare away. But it's pretty cool. You could also use your app. See, like, run out live. You hear the wind blowing outside and stuff. But you can also turn off your light just off your app. So just click this button. Just wait a second or two. See, lights off. Click it. Wait another second or two. Lights on. And then if you want to talk to somebody, let's say somebody is coming at your back door, you just hold this microphone button down. Okay, see what you got to say. Release. And whatever that person is going to talk back you're going to hear them because you can hear everything live right now now if you now this button right here you click the center button and you got a couple options calling on one i don't have that set up that's an additional feature you have to pay but this is a, a sound alarm so you could use this and it'll make some kind of noise to watch you'll hear it and that's the noise you can hear outside I'm going ahead and shut that off and everything works on a delay, so you're going to have about 3 to 4 second delay on everything. And then you could record a greeting. I think you have to pay for that. I never use that feature, but here's some features that it does have. It has a chime. Or let's say somebody, um, uh, you want to scare an animal or whatever. Just hit bark and dog. And wait two seconds and you'll hear a bark. That's what you can hear outside. Or you could play another greeting says... Somebody comes up to your door, you want to, I don't know, you want to say, hey, how can I help you? Click that. Hi, can I help you? That's what you're curious So it's pretty cool. Like I said, um, when you first get this, when you first get the Kuna app, um, now if you want to, let's say somebody walks in front of the light, it's gonna, you know, gonna, you're going to get a notification and stuff. Well, this is only, that. this feature at the top right here is only for, like, if you want to see the cameras live. Now, if you want to um, kind of see stuff from the past, you hit this this option, and this is you know, this is the stuff that's um, in the past. So my kids walking up to my door and stuff. But it's really nice. It's really clear. See, I could upgrade my account to store more footage for up to thirty days. I think that's like eight dollars a month. I I don't have that option. I just I'm okay with the forty eight days. Uh, I mean the forty eight hours, which is free which is you know nice and what happens is um, if there's a video you want to save so for example let's say I want to save this video okay this is a, just a video I want to save it all I got to do is just click download and then it just starts downloading right here oh this one was unsuccessful let's try it again let's go with this one download and it's, this is going to download. See, download complete. So, right now it's downloaded, and then just play it on your phone, or you could email it to somebody, or WhatsApp, Fiber, whatever. So you, get, you know, get this video player. 
it's pretty cool. It has, um, it's uh, pretty clear. And you, it shows you the time, the date, and all. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly clear for 720p. So, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy.